Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to another Lego Star Wars Summer 2014 set review. So here we have set 75051 the Jedi Scout Fighter and this is from the Yoda Chronicles. The set is for ages 8 to 14, it comes with a piece count of 490 pieces and it retails here in the UK for £59.99. That's from the Lego Store or the Lego Store Online. And in the United States this will retail for $59.99. So obviously another example of you guys in the United States um, getting a far better deal than what we are here in the UK. So let's start off by taking a look at the four minifigures that come with this. So we're going to start off with Jack 14. As we can see here, he comes with the blue lightsaber with a very cool looking white can hilt. can be seen here. So there's that white hilt on the blue lightsaber. So let's take our 360 view of Jack 14 now. Obviously starting with the front and you can see the awesome print into the front of the torso and down into the legs. And obviously his... Uh, menacing and excellent looking R helmet um, again with some very good printing um, detailing too and round to the rear where that printing detail come continues to the rear of the torso and now we get to view the translucent blue arm obviously on the side of Jack 14 and we'll take a closer look at that in a second Okay, now we get to see Jack 14 with his helmet um, removed and this is a dual sided face. Let's take a look at the second side now. Okay, now a closer look at that helmet. And let's take a closer look at Jack 14 so we can sum of that print in detail there. You can now see in the face up into the front of that torso. So the legs, we spin round. Rear torso, there we get to see the other side of his face. Um, and then that awesome detailing um, on that arm there. On to our next mini figure, this is Ithorian Jedi Master. So let's take our 360 view of him now. And you can see he comes with a green lightsaber with the chrome silver hilt. And now you can see the obviously awesome shape um, of his head. The printing continuing around to the rear of the torso, you can see some of that robe detailing. And obviously back round to the front and again you can see that robe detailing on the front of the torso and continuing down into the legs. Okay, next up we have our Astromech Droid. Again, let's take a 360 view of him. And finally back round to the front. Okay, so our final minifigure is this Protocol Droid RA7. Um, some pretty cool print in there to the front of the torso and down into the legs. So let's take a 360 view of him. And we can see that printing continuing to the rear of the torso. Okay, so let's just take a closer look at this minifigure, in particular the head. Okay, so if we just take a look at the mould of this head. There we go, so there's no printing detailing as such. Um, but there we can obviously see the mould and just quick look at that printing detail while we're there. 
So there we go, that's the review of the four minifigures completed. Let's take a closer look at the Jedi Scout fighter itself now. So here is our streamlined looking Jedi Scout fighter. So let's take a 360 view now. Okay, there we go. So let's take a closer look at this set now so we can start to look at some of the details, functions and features. So first off, picking it up here, you can see this is actually um, quite a large set. Um, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I called it the streamlined Jedi Scout Fighter. And you can see that it is pretty streamlined actually. It's quite a great design. So first things to point out there are a number of stickers on here so sticker stickers there sticker across the side there and round to the other side we have exactly the same again sticker 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 and sticker there so just looking at some of the detailing around the front here we'll see we have i assume are the laser cannons at the front here and obviously here Zoom in, we can take a closer look at those. And some of the detailing at the front as we move up towards that cockpit. So while we're on that area now, this cockpit opens in um, two ways. So we have the front section that opens there. And again, the rear section opens there. So it is a dual cockpit. We can get two of our Jedis in there. So one sitting here at what will be the rear of the cockpit and obviously one sat in the front section there. Uh, we can see here we have this tile piece here. That's where my finger is now as we try to get that to focus in. And again here another control panel there at the rear. Let's close those two up and we'll show what that looks like with the minifigures in a second. So the other feature that this main cockpit area has is this whole cockpit will detach. Uh, we just grab hold of that now and which is quite hard to do when I'm trying to hold it for the camera at the same time. Put that back on there so we can see there now the Jedi Scout fighter with um, that main cockpit detached and you can see in there there is just a Technic pin there that holds that into position so now we have the escape pod um, here so again that is just that cockpit area obviously detached from the main craft so again we can see obviously that open ups there and we can see down into there there's the front rear and that's obviously the Technic brick there where that attaches and there are some slides here to slide it back into the main Jedi Scout fighter. Okay so just attaching it back into position and we can see like I said it slides in there are some slides there and we just simply push that back and click it in position there nice solid click Okay, following it round um, to the side, again just um, detailing round here, um, at the rear, these are adjustable, as can be seen, up and down, we can put them in multiple positions, um, I believe that is the main flying position, some cool detailing round for the engine area, All the jets there at the rear, and again just round to the other side, um, the same detailing continues around there. So next function is the laser cannon turret on the top here. Um, and this can be moved into multiple positions. So we can raise and lower. 
like so but also this can spin round 360 degrees so you can have this in multiple firing positions okay then we have the main compartment on the rear so this whole area will lift up like so again you can see that there that just simply lifts up and then in the rear here we have this storage compartment so that will just simply slide out like so and we get to see that there you can see there's a couple of storage containers we'll take a closer look at this in a second um, and just to show you there obviously where that fits um, into position so again that can just simply close down like so okay so one of the final play features we have on here you may have picked them up already or indeed hear me accidentally fire one we have the spring loaded missiles um, one at either side at the um, obviously the top of the Jedi Scout fighter there and you should all know by now how these work this is just simply a case of uh, pressing down gently which I will do now and it will fire so there we go there's that one um, and again if I fire this one here and you can see they do come up very fast okay so there's that one fired too Okay, now back round to the rear and we're going to take a closer look at the storage container which I showed you earlier, which is obviously stored in the rear of the Jedi Scout fighter there. Okay, so as we can see we have the two storage containers. Um, and if we just remove the lids to those and we can see down inside there um, if you can just make that out there are actually two holocrons in there so let's just take both of those out so we have a blue holocron and a green holocron and we can just pop those back into the containers like so and replace the lids to those containers so there is another feature for this and if we look on the side we should be able to just pick up there there is a clip there we go and on the other side there is a another clip so what are they used for so quite simply they are used to stow the lightsabers so if we just clip one onto one side like so and then let's take jack 14s and put his on the actually before we do that i did miss another feature on here um, if you can just pick up on the side there there are these three um, little bombs Hopefully you can see that there along the bottom. Three bombs there down the bottom and they can obviously um, be removed and used. There we go, better look at those now. Okay, well I've got that there. Let's get Jack 14's lightsaber. And we just clip that into position there. So there we can see that there. The two lightsabers now on the container. Okay, finally, let's just place that storage container back in. And that just, just simply slide in, like I showed earlier. So we can close that down now. And then, obviously, the final thing to do is get our minifigures into okay, place. So first off, we will start off with our Astromech droid. Now, there is a spot for him. So at the top here is where he fit. And we just simply slot him into position. And there are a couple of studs in there which will obviously hold him in place. Uh, if we zoom in there, we should be able to see him now um, in position. So there we go. So there's the astromech droid. Okay, then back to the cockpit area. Okay, so we just again raise the cockpit like so. And we will take our first minifigure and he just simply slides into position. that and then we will take Jack 14 and slide him into position okay so there we can now see 
the two figures sat in a side that cockpit area and now we just obviously simply close the cockpit down and the front section okay so there we go so there we can now again see those two Jedi in position so there we go that is my review of this set complete the jedi scout fighter set 75051 so although this set is obviously not an authentic star wars spacecraft and it's from the yoda chronicles i have to say i do quite like the design of this i like the streamlined look um obviously there are some play features on the set um, but this will be one which will be going on display for me um, to add to my um, other Lego Star Wars sets. Okay, so hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, go ahead and give it that big thumbs up, please. I really do appreciate the thumbs up, and I also do appreciate your comments. So please do go ahead and leave those down in the comments section as well. And finally, if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers! <laughs>